TikTok is banned in Montana, but TikTok has officially challenged the ban and they will be going to court soon. Meta's new smart glasses are wild. Elon Musk wants to charge all users a monthly fee to use the app formerly known as Twitter, now X. All this and trending memes, other platform specific updates are coming your way in today's video. So grab your favorite snack or coffee and get settled in because it is time for our monthly rundown of social media news and trends. As always, resources for each article that I reference, including timestamps, will be listed down below in the description. And of course, a huge shout out to my amazing video team over at Story, helping me curate, script, and bring you this up-to-date news and trend recap. Diving into the news, starting with an update on the TikTok ban and other social media topics that are showing up in the legal system right now. So far, 34 of the 50 states in the US have banned the Chinese owned platform TikTok from government devices. And as you may know from a previous trend report that I posted, Montana has signed a law that will completely ban the app from the state. Montana's statewide ban will go into effect January 1st. However, legal battles have begun as the ban is being challenged by TikTok, the company, and five other content creators. Austin Knudsen, Montana Attorney General, believes that they will be able to withstand the challenge in federal court, but we will have to wait to find out because their first court hearing is on October 12th. Speaking of the court, the Supreme Court will decide if state laws limiting social media platforms actually violate the Constitution. On Friday, September 29th, the Supreme Court agreed to decide whether state laws that seek to regulate Facebook, TikTok, X, and other social media platforms actually violate the Constitution. The announcement comes as the justices continue to grapple with how laws written at the dawn of the digital age or earlier apply to the ever-evolving online world. Chris Marchese, the litigation director for the industry group NetChoice, said in a statement, Online services have a well-established First Amendment right to host, curate, and share content as they see fit. The internet is a vital platform for free expression and it must remain free from government censorship. Social media has been a hot topic this year in the government with the evolution of AI and all the things. So the question is, is this new era of government regulation on social media warranted? Is this going to pass? What is what what does this mean? What does this mean for social media and government being able to control social media? I'm, I don't know. We will have to wait and see what happens. Elon Musk says X, formerly known as Twitter, is considering having its users pay a small monthly payment to use their social media platform. On Monday, Musk gave the remarks during a live streamed conversation with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu about artificial intelligence, saying that the fee would be meant to keep bots off X. Quote, it's the only way I can think of to combat vast armies of bots, Musk said. Musk did not elaborate on how much the payment would be to use X, but said it would be a small amount of money. Currently, X does have a premium subscription service where it charges users for certain features, including being able to edit a post and have prioritized rankings in conversations and search, and prices for these services start at $8 a month. So I'm curious if that small payment for all users will be less than that $8 equivalent. Do you think this is the solution to help the bot problem or is Elon Musk just being Elon? You know what I mean? Let me know in the comments below. Meta announces new smart glasses in collaboration with Ray-Ban. On September 27th, Meta announced that they will be releasing Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses, which are now available for pre-order, ranging from $299 to $329. Even though they released a first generation of smart glasses in the past, Meta says that they redesigned these new ones from the ground up improving all the core features from the previous design while adding new capabilities that have never been seen before on a pair of smart glasses. Some highlights of these new smart glasses are improved audio that's 50% louder for the user with two times the bass while being able to maintain privacy from those around you, the ability to record audio as true to sound as possible, a new ultra wide 12 megapixel camera allowing improved quality for photos and 1080p videos that are up to 60 seconds long. You can even directly share photos to friends and family from 
from your glasses with a simple send a photo voice command. These glasses have 36 hours of battery and come with a charging case. And you can now live stream from the glasses directly onto Facebook or Instagram and be able to see comments from your community like in the glasses as they pop up. So you're able to engage with your audience while also being able to like stay in that moment, stay in the moment. If live streaming is even staying in the moment. <laughs> We're definitely living in the future. I'm tempted to buy a pair and like make a YouTube video testing them out for all of you. I think that'd be a grand old time. All right, now usually we have a something good section for every video, but this video's something good is also like trending hard right now. So let's just jump straight to memes and music from September, starting with Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Late last month, Taylor Swift broke the internet as she appeared at the football game of her rumored boyfriend, Kansas City Chief tight end, Travis Kelsey. The moment went mega viral to the point that ESPN was talking about Taylor Swift more than actual sports. The NFL's TikTok page had Taylor was here in their bio and even made a playlist on their TikTok called Welcome Swifties. This moment was so viral that it overshined, overshound, overshone, overshone. You know what I mean. <laughs> this moment was so viral that it overshined Usher's announcement that he's doing the halftime show at the Super Bowl. Like, did you even know that? Did you even know that? Probably not, because Taylor Swift making an appearance was such a hot commodity. Of course, this sparked a ton of memes, like thousands. One centered around the clip of Kelsey looking up at the luxury box that Taylor Swift is standing in, watching the game from above with nothing but love in his eyes. And of course, we have to talk about Seemingly Ranch, which refers to a photo Swift took at the game that shows on, on the side of the photo, her plate of chicken fingers and dips, which then a Swift fan account reported on it, saying she was dipping her chicken in ketchup and seemingly ranch. That, that phrasing, the post, went mega viral with over 32 million views on the original post, with just loads of rants taking part of the joke. And I am sure that Swift Kelsey talks and moments will continue to be the rage of the town throughout this month. I am here for it. I am all for it. I don't care if this is a cover up to try to get people to not think about Swift maybe being Dazzler in the upcoming like Deadpool 3 movie and is trying to distract from that. I don't care if it's some sort of PR stunt where they're trying to shine on Kelsey of, I don't know. I don't, I don't care the motive, the reason, if it's real, if it's not real, I'm here for it. I love it. I wouldn't say I'm like a hard Swifty, you know what I mean? But in high school, I listened to the OG Swift albums. They were my heart songs, my soul songs throughout high school. To go from me singing You Belong With Me at the top of my lungs, being in high school, looking at like, oh, my love in the football player, blah, 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 like to go from that to now watching her live that and ugh, just feels full circle, iconic. I don't care what you say, I'm here for it. I don't need to know your thoughts. I don't need to know your thoughts. I know mine and that's all that matters. I'm obsessed with it. Going into trends from last month and still carrying into this month a little bit is girl math versus boy math. So girl math and boy math are slang terms referring to a series of jokes that were popularized on TikTok and X this past month about how women and men fudge numbers. Like how many women use wonky math to justify a purchase or how men overstate their height by rounding up. Girl math would be if I'm online shopping and the website says like, oh, if you spend $100, you get free shipping. I'm going to spend $100 to save money. Even though the original items I was going to buy were like $50, I'm still girl math. Oh, spend $100 to save money, got it. I'm doing it, right? And then boy math, this is like, the women are coming in to talk about boy math and they're kind of slaughtering the men 
it's not funny stuff like, hee hee, I round up to justify my online purchases and buy iced coffee every day. It's like, no, I don't even want to give examples because some of them are so savage. You'll have to go look them up, but it's pretty fun. Pretty fun to watch those videos. Anywho, the trend seemed to start on August 2nd, 2023, when TikToker Sam James posted a video in which she discussed the phenomenon of girl math after girl dinner was like a whole other rabbit hole after that popularized on the app. Anywho, her video joked about the wonky math that some of us women use to justify purchases like the example that I had said before. So if you wanna hop on that trend, do a little TikTok search, look up girl math, boy math, and make your own video. What's a girl math or boy math situation that you've come across and talk about it. People love to hear it. Another trend that is going around is tube girl. So TikTok has a new main character and her name is Sabrina Bassoon, if you don't know. Last month, Bassoon started posting videos of her dancing and lip syncing while traveling on the London tube. The videos are immensely popular due to the fact that most of us could never be caught dead dancing and filming like that so publicly around people and confidently blows my mind. The most popular of her videos feature a remix of Mo Beats Righteous to go mega viral on the app. Everybody and their mothers are now doing the tube girl trend where you're like, mm, 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 mm. you know, that's what they're doing. They go like this, oh, ooh, ah. And then they spin, they go, wait, which way? This way, oh. Wait, this is a phone, this is a phone by the way. A little dizzy. We're good. So if you're looking to try some exposure therapy and film yourself in public, give this trend a go. Or maybe you just wanna try to play around with different transitions because there's transitions hidden in that video and they look amazing. Do it around your house. Give it a go, see if you can do it. A popular meme from September is Justin Bieber's Krispy Kreme outfit. Justin and Hailey Bieber have recently spent some time in the meme sphere due to the contrasting outfits that they decided to wear to Hailey's launch and promotional event for her Rhodes limited edition peptide lip treatment in strawberry glaze at the Krispy Kreme in New York. While Justin drew both criticism and support from fans for his ensemble, the best part has to be the memes that have have sprung about from this one photograph. For example, user Kurt Copain on X said, he's always dressed like he's about to go help his mom bring in groceries from the car, which I can absolutely relate to. So thank you Biebs and Miss Biebs for giving us inspo for this year's Halloween costume, which I will absolutely be taking part of. Thank you. As for trending music, there have been so many trending songs in September, most of them being Taylor Swift for the whole Taylor Swift and NFL Travis Kelsey stuff that's going around. We also have Olivia Rodrigo, no surprise there with Guts. And of course we already touched on the Tube Girl song that people are using for their own variation of the tube girl trend. If you're somebody who wants to stay up to date weekly with these trends, memes, trending music, all the things, make sure you're subscribed to Stories Trend Recap newsletter down below. When you're subscribed to their newsletter, they will be able to keep you in the loop of which memes are trending, audios are trending, and then you could use them as a content creator to ride the waves of trend. So I'll be sure to link that in the pinned comment below. Now for platform specific updates and news, starting with Meta slash Instagram. Meta Verified for Business. Meta has announced plans to extend its Meta Verified subscription bundle to businesses on Instagram, Facebook, and eventually WhatsApp. So Meta Verified, if you don't already know, is a tool designed to help businesses distinguish themselves on all of these apps, increase their customer trust, and confirm the authenticity of their enterprise. So this service will initially be tested for businesses on Instagram and Facebook in selected countries before expanding to WhatsApp. Businesses that choose to subscribe will receive multiple benefits. Those benefits entail a verified badge, proactive impersonation monitoring, support in troubleshooting account issues, improved discoverability, and for WhatsApp users, premium features like customizable WhatsApp page and multi-device support for customer care. 
The monthly subscription will start at $21.99 for individual Facebook or Instagram accounts, and then $34.99 for having access to both. Moving on to Instagram, Instagram expands close friends capabilities to feed posts. So several users have begun noticing a new option when attempting to post pictures to their Instagram news feed. A new feature allows users to choose between sharing their latest post with their entire public following or just close friends that they have already pre-designated. This is almost reminiscent of when Instagram first introduced this feature for stories. Being able to restrict posts to close friends only give users an added layer of privacy if desired when sharing recent updates. Again, for me, this is like not a huge update where I'm like, oh my gosh, yay. But as social media today puts it, it's not a major change and functionally it's not a big shift either, but it would provide another option to facilitate a more enclosed group discussion, which could help Instagram lean into the latest behavioral trends. Something that has always stuck out to me the past like month or two with Instagram's updates I notice when they make these updates, there's this whole group of people that are like, oh my gosh, these updates suck. This is not what we asked for, oh my gosh. And then there's a group of people that are like, oh my gosh, this is so great. And what's interesting is, I think Adam Masseri recently went on a podcast where, okay, I'm paraphrasing. I am major paraphrasing here, so don't take this word for word, take it with a grain of salt. But what he was basically saying was when Instagram makes these updates and ad, adds features, it's not for everybody. They know the updates are not for everybody. It's for who they want their audience to be. And people are theorizing they're making these updates specifically for Gen Z and younger. That's who they want to attract because they don't want their app to die. They're not making these updates for millennials and above. They're focusing on Gen Z and Gen Z right now uses Instagram for like DMing each other. Like my nephew who's in high school, might be Gen Z or alpha, I don't know. He uses Instagram, but not the way that we use Instagram. It is very different. So if these updates feel like irrelevant to you, they're relevant for some. It's just the direction that Instagram's choosing to go. <sighs> that is all, thank you. <laughs> As for TikTok, TikTok is exploring a partnership with Google to drive search traffic. I'm obsessed with this. First of all, I'm obsessed with this because one, Google owns YouTube, in case you don't know. And I love YouTube, in case you don't know. <laughs> I'm biased. YouTube is my favorite platform, period. And Google owns YouTube, therefore I love Google. I love Google. And if Google is going to work with TikTok, then they're, then henceforth, I shall loveth TikTok. I'm excited for this. Let's talk about it. Okay, remember last year, reports were circulating that TikTok had become the search engine of choice for many younger users and that it could at some stage take a much larger chunk of Google's market share. Well, Google might have found a way to counter that competition, sort of. So according to a new report from Business Insider, TikTok and Google are currently exploring a new partnership which would integrate Google search prompts and potentially at some stage even results into TikTok's own search stream. As you can see in this example, some TikTok users are now seeing a new prompt appear within their search results in app, which includes a call to action to expand their search onto Google. It's a custom integration made for Google in this instance, which aims to provide more context and facilitate more discovery via the TikTok app. Last July in a presentation to Fortune's Brainstorm Tech Conference, Google's senior vice president said, in our studies, something like almost 40% of young people, when they're looking for a place to go to lunch, they don't go to Google Maps or search, they go to TikTok or Instagram. So based on this, it could be a logical and beneficial move for Google to integrate its tools into TikTok's discovery surface, which will then help to keep Google in mind as a search engine as an option and maintain relevance with their audience. In YouTube news, so YouTube is releasing a new app called YouTube Create that will let you edit videos right on your phone. They're hoping that this new app could encourage users to lean into making more shorts and shorter form content for YouTube. Making a separate app also mimics TikTok's strategy of releasing a separate app cap cut, which helps you make videos that you can share then onto TikTok or other platforms. Quote, the YouTube Create app offers video editing tools, including precision editing and trimming, 
automatic captioning, voiceover capabilities, and access to a library of filters, effects, transitions, royalty-free music with beat matching technology so that creators can produce their own YouTube video without relying on complex editing software, YouTube wrote in a blog post. I'm a YouTube stan. Anything that YouTube puts out, I will absolutely try, test it out, give you guys the tea, the scoop. So I'm excited for it nonetheless. What news excited you the most? What surprised you the most? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, let's always remember to keep the comments a respectful place because everybody is entitled to their own opinions. If you haven't already, make sure to sign up for the trend report down below in the pinned comment because I wouldn't want you to have to miss a upcoming trending sound, audio or meme that you could hop on. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Follow your joy. Bye.